You guys have been asking for dim sum for absolutely ages and this one has been designed with you guys. This is the salted dim sum. The filling for these Chinese dumplings are going to be prawn and pork with spring onion, ginger and garlic. We're then going to add extra texture, water chestnuts, roasted peanuts and wrap them up in our wonton skins. Can you, Ubers, begin to chop them up? I can. So ginger, a knob of, that sort of thumb sized piece. Yep. Two spring onions and a clove of garlic. I think what we've done here, Ben, is set the bar pretty damn high, if not too high. Everyone should be saying it's almost difficult, the most difficult thing to make. Not okay. Dim sum's not easy. It's right. a bit like sushi in the sense that often to get the, the precision and the art form takes ages and ages and ages. What we've done is simplified everything. We've got with some classic flavours, pork and uh, prawn, which is kind of shumai. Is the, the Sorry? Bless shumai, you. Bless you. which is a form of dumpling. We're also going to use pre-made wonton pastry skins to do this. We're not. That is a cheat. That is a cheat from an Asian supermarket, and we were told actually that's fine. I'm guessing you can't make it yourself. You can't make it yourself, it's just fiddly, so okay. we bought it. Fair enough. But you can get them in, in all Asian supermarkets, they're frozen, they keep for ages, and they're ready to go. For the filling, we're using pork mince, quite a lean mince, and raw king prawns that have already been shelled. Garlic, ginger, and then two flavourings. So we've got soy and we've got sesame. One teaspoon of that, two teaspoons of Soy. Those spring onions, you've done bears, just chunked up, cool, nice, ready to go. They can go in. And some corn flour, that's just going to help bind it together into a paste. And all that's left to do is blend it up into something that's quite smooth. Stop. That Perfect. looks revolting. Same colour as your top. Oh, it is, isn't it? So that is quite a fine paste. To that, what's great is to add some texture. Up till now, I've often made these and left it at that. But yeah. we had a suggestion that actually adding in water chestnuts and roasted Ooh. peanuts. Great flavour, great texture. So we're going to do exactly that. Nice little twist. Wait a minute, Ben. Does this mean the twists aren't coming from you anymore? Uh, not all of them, no. Sweet. Team effort. Team effort. So we've got some roasted peanuts. All we've done is taken them out of their shells, mm -hmm. put them in an oven, and then taken off their husks, and you're left with those. So if you can roughly chop those. If I were to order this in a restaurant, I'd order it with lots of other things. What else would you make with this? Well, the thing with dim sum is it's more of a style of eating. It's like um. I'm confused. Lots of picky bits. So think like tapas or mezzo or something like that. It is the Chinese or Cantonese version of like lots of little dishes that you can have little bits of. So this is one of many different types of dim sum? Yeah. And this is... Dim sum is the collective term. This one is kind of shumai, which is pork and prawn oh, in a steamed I... piece. Okay. Ding. That has just gone in my head. And these. Now, try these. These are water chestnuts. These come in a tin. They are great for texture. If I just cut into one of those. A similar texture to bamboo shoot. Water chestnuts. Crunchy. Not a huge amount of flavour to them. Taste of crunchy water. What I'm going to do is do some very, very fine dice. Nuts can go into the mix. So the water chestnut going in there. You can put that in the food processor as well, but I prefer to keep those chunky bits chunky. Grab a spoon and mix it all up. And then for the finesse, the bit that's basically like wrapping lots of tiny little presents and parcels, they are using our wonton skins. We're going to make all the dim sum. What exactly are wonton skins? Pastry. Uh, made from water and flat. Very, very simple. Oh. But to get them that thin and that pliable, they're not easy to do. So we're going to cheat and use these, but that's absolutely fine. We've been told that even from our community, even some of you guys buy them as well. It's not a problem. So a teaspoon onto each one. Oh! Yeah, these are only tiny of... little morsels. And what I've got is a tiny little bit of water. And just dip your finger in, dab it around the outside, and fold it up. Little parcels, and instead of being pasta, it's pastry. And that's what you want. You want it open at the top, this particular dim sum, and that then needs to be steamed. We'll make loads of them, lay them into a steam basket. If you're going to a Chinese supermarket and you're going to pick up these, you can pick up one of these really small. And it doesn't have to be this big, you can get much smaller ones as well. This was like six quid for okay. one this size. So a small one, much, much cheaper, it's worth picking up. If you're going to pick up the wonton skins, get one of these. If you haven't got one, you can just use a colander okay. over a pan of water, but this does make all the difference. Colander with a lid? Uh, yes. Any saucepan with a lid. And just put a colander into it. In terms of like other flavours, better recommendation to do one with mushroom? Could we do this? Yeah, mushroom's amazing. We've already done a mushroom one, not oh, in yeah. video, but in our cookbook, fast food chapter. So you can go and have a look at that. These ones, pork and prawn, shumai, with the added texture, the water chestnuts, peanuts, perfect. Now they're ready to go into our steamer. So this is going to sit above a pan of steaming water, right. piece of grease with paper or silicon paper, and top tip, just a tiny smattering. Corn flour. That's smattering. What does that do? Then? What's this? Smattering. It's just a, a layer, and it just stops them from sticking. So they can all go in there. It needs a lid to go back on, and they need to steam for about four minutes or so, which is just enough time for us to make our dipping sauce. In the meantime, can you take that and peel it up into peel it, and then dice it into very, very, very small pieces, mm -hmm. as small as you possibly can. In the meantime, I'm going to reduce down an awful lot of soy sauce. 
you wouldn't normally use this much soy, but it was becoming a dipping sauce rather than just a, a garnish or a seasoning. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that can all go into the pan and then add into it brown sugar, some finely chopped chili, and some finely chopped spring onion. Now this is just one of many dipping sauces you can make your own. In fact, we want to hear from you what your favorite dipping sauce is. We asked when we did our recipe lab, had a few suggestions, sweet chili sauce and some others. We want to hear more, so let us know in the comments below so that everyone else can see them too. How are we doing on carrot? It's small enough. It's not bad. So this is my small carrot dice. And that's that kind of what I was looking for. His bends. So they're really small, pretty much the same size as the sesame seeds that we're going to sprinkle on afterwards. Okay, so that's what you're looking for. I prefer a little mine, bit of crunch, crunch, a little bit of colour. Just a couple of minutes bubbling away. You can see now that has become really syrupy. Mm. The brown oh, sugar's wow. melted, the chilli's in there, the spring onions go in. All I'm going to do is plate that into a dish to put inside of our steamer and we're good to go. Now, if you are having dim sum in the future, be that with this recipe or a different recipe, or even if you've had it in a restaurant, we want you to Instagram it to us so the whole community can see what dim sum could look like. Everything counts as oh. inspiration and that's what we're looking for right now. Plenty of inspiration. That's going to go in there. A scattering of our carrot. Colour. Proud of this one. This, this one looks. Sesame seeds that have already been toasted. That is our dim sum shumai sorted. Chopsticks. Oh, okay. You know what? I think I can use these now. You can use these. It's just Mike's pretty useless with these. Peel them off. Give it a dunk. Oh, I spoke too soon. That's good. Ginger comes through nicely. Oh, wow. I like how chunky it is as well. Sometimes we have these, it's almost like a, like a paste. Yep, the paste is fine, some people prefer it as paste. I think the addition of the water chestnuts and peanuts, mm. good suggestion, we added it, I think it works. For me, the peanuts make it. It's, I think for me it's about having lots of different selection. So actually, one of these would actually serve four or six, because mm -hmm. you'd have several other dishes as well. True. If you're True. eating this on your own, probably just one or two. Now, make sure you make this yourself. The recipe is down in the description box below. You've got to give it a go and let us know how you get on.